Yo, yo, what is going on guys? BDB coming back to you with another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be getting into something absolutely just disgusting. So guys, if you don't know, out of positions are coming to NBA 2K21, my team. And guys, look at this, man. Just look at my screen. Are you guys looking at my screen right now? Look at this. This is absolutely crazy. We have Kobe Bean Bryant, Grant Hill, Chris Webber, KD, Paul Millsap, Obi Toppin, LaMelo Ball, Keldon Johnson, Emmanuel Quickly, Bruce Boeing, Magic Johnson, Bradley Beal, and we have Joakim Noah. Taking a look at all these cards, guys, I'm going to go over each one of these cards and tell you what I think about them. And are they going to be good or are they not going to be good? So with that being said, taking a look right here at Joakim Noah, not wasting any time. But hang on, guys, I got to say something real quick. Subscribe. By the way, like the stream, or I mean, sorry, like the video and comment anything down below. Comment which cards you are getting. As well as, I was wrong about this. I actually thought they were releasing them next season. But hey, it is what it is. Let's get it. So with this being said, Joakim Noah and Amethyst, 91 overall, 86 offense, 99 defense, 6'11 with a 7-foot wingspan, can play the point guard. Are you joking right now? This is a 6'11 Ben Simmons. Less Ben Simmons, honestly. He has six Hall of Fame badges. He's got a 90 speed. What is his speed with ball? Speed of ball is a 90, guys. I actually might pick him up just to, you know, do whatever. He also comes with an 80 shot three. If this shot, if this guy can curry slide, then that's going to be absolutely crazy. You're going to have a 94 or 84 mid range on him. He's going to be good at the, uh, well, pretty much everything. He's going to be able, where's his post hook at, guys? Where is his post hook? Am I just not seeing it right now? Uh, post hook is a 90. So he's going to be able to post hook literally anybody. Now, you might want to put in uh, deep hooks on him. He'll be very, very solid to do that. He has good defensive badges, including that gold, or I'm sorry, Hall of Fame Clamps, Hall of Fame Heart Crusher, Intimidator. Good defensive badges. Taking a look at his tendencies here. <sighs> good tendencies on ball. I mean, you can't really get better than a point guard, Joakim Noah. And then looking at, he's got Pro 1, Pro 1, Pro 2, Pro 6. Um <sighs> I'm not too sure what these do, to be honest with you. But guys, they these are the signature animations here. I mean, guys, overall, I think this card is going to be basically Ben Simmons, but better. When I say he's better, you can apply post hooks on him. You can apply uh, some Grinches, a three-point shoe. He's going to be a better Ben Simmons, guys. That's my opinion on that Joakim Noah card. Taking a look here at LaMelo Ball. Power forward slash center. Um, do I think he's going to be good at that position? No. What is his strength? His strength is going to be determining pretty much everything here in 88. Okay, so that's actually not that bad. Um, however, it is LaMelo Ball. And if you're coming up against a Kareem, a Wilt Chamberlain, he's going to get bodied in the post. He's going to get post hooked on. So his position out of center, or out of, uh, position center is okay. It's not the best. Uh... But taking a look here, he does come with that post move lockdown. That's really going to help him out. He comes with clamps, interceptor, et cetera, et cetera. Comes with some good playmaking, shooting badges, uh, some finishing badges. Like I said, guys, this card is going to be decent at the center position. He's not going to be able to guard anybody in terms of the Kareems of the world, the Wilts of the world, heck, even the D-Robs of the world or Pau Gasol. Um, he's going to get post hooked more often than not if somebody knows how to do that. But no, 94 speed with ball. I mean, yeah, he's might be the fastest center in the game from right now uh but i mean d rob is close you got kareem and wilt that are very very close as well so overall this card is pretty decent uh we're taking a look at the signature animations here and he's got the pro to escape i don't know if that's curry slide or not i'm not too sure uh i believe it is but i could be wrong uh or the moving behind the back okay Let's see. So he comes with uh, shot 81, Austin Rivers upper release. Who has that? LaMelo Ball, Mark Jackson. I'm not even sure. I haven't even tested out LaMelo Ball, guys, to be honest with you. But, uh, I mean, that is LaMelo Ball. He's not bad. He's going to be pretty decent. But at the same time, that center position is going to kill him. Kendall Johnson. So a reward card, power forward slash small forward. <sighs> I don't know if this card's going to be good or not. He's 6'5 with a 6'9 wingspan. Playing him at the power forward is a mistake. I mean, he's 6'5, guys. 6'5. I know he's got a 6'9 wingspan, but 6'5 is bad. I mean, he's okay. He's got a 95 three-point shot, so that's pretty good. You can do it. You can play a stretch four if you want. Good range extender. 
quick for step tight handles clamps intimidator i mean this card's very solid as well uh the only things that he's missing if you do play him at that four spot maybe apply deep hooks he already has showtime pro touch he's got acrobat fancy finisher i mean or fancy footwork he's he's a pretty decent card i just wouldn't play him at the four because he's kind of undersized taking a look at these signature animations here we got kent baysmore release okay so kent baysmore base with michael jordan upper okay that's not bad it reminds me of richard dumas i don't know if richard dumas has that but it, the shot literally reminds me of that in a way so this card is going to be decent uh don't play him at the four play him at the three <clears throat> emmanuel quickly uh well, actually i won't go over the reward cards guys not yet at least uh just the out of position cards um, I know I went over Kendall Johnson, but I'll go over these guys in a uh, another video, or I just might. I'm not too sure yet. But we got Magic Johnson. Now, this is probably the most anticipated card because he could play center, and I'm really curious as to what he could do. So, obviously, he's 6'9 with a 7-foot wingspan. You already know what Magic Johnson is capable of. He's got a 95 speed here. Oh, my gosh. This card is literally flawless, except for that vertical, except for that shot IQ, which doesn't even matter. He's got an 89 three-point shot which is fine. I don't like Magic Johnson base, but I mean, he's going to be spamming at the center position, guys. There's no doubt about that. Um, as cards come out now, people are just going to get better and just it's going to be absolutely crazy. A 96, so he's a pink diamond, which is fine. Um, I'm happy they made him that because if that were the case, if he was a dark matter center, that would have been a little bit more uh, you know, unrealistic, I guess. I have no idea. But uh, but he's got a couple of with Hall of Fame deep hooks, which is nice. Uh, catch and shoot, decent shooting badges, gold range extender. I mean, he's not a perfect card by any means. Only his attributes look perfect. So with that being said, he does only have an 80 interior defense, which is going to be a little bit, uh, you know, compromised when you're coming up against those Wilt Chamberlains of the world. I mean, I'm just kind of thinking of Kareem and Wilt Chamberlain and David Robinson and Pau Gasol. They're going to literally abuse this card. Uh, there's no doubt about that. He only comes with, if I'm not mistaken, where is it? Uh, post move lockdown on gold. So, I mean, it's okay. You can upgrade that to Hall of Fame. But, guys, if you're coming up against a Wilk, gee, good luck to you, man. Because uh, Magic Johnson is going to be good. But at the same time, he's going to have some flaws, guys. So, with that being said, let's move on to the signature and animations here. He comes with, obviously, the same uh, things as, you know, the other cards do. I mean, he's going to be good, guys. He's going to be really good. Very cheesy. But at the same time, man, I would rather run Will or Kareem. Then we take a look at Bradley. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Y'all have most of me. Obi Toppin, Paul Millsap. We're going right here to my guy, Kevin Durant. Looking at KD, he can play the shooting guard. Are you kidding me? 6'10 with a 7'4 wingspan. I mean, <sighs> comparing him to Darius Miles, guys. Darius Miles is 6'9 with a 7'0" wingspan six down with a seven foot wingspan you're getting that little bit of length here with my guy kd but at the same time man is he better than darius miles yes he's going to be better better than darius miles same time though i mean if you can't afford this card go get darius miles he's almost not almost the same card he's probably like 60 percent of this kd but man darius miles is six nine with a seven foot wingspan just like kevin durant here so he's going to bring you a lot of the same things and he can also play the two guard Taking a look here, he's got a 97 three-point shot, which is fine. Uh, speed with the ball is plenty of fine. Uh, if you apply deep hooks to this guy, oh my gosh. I mean, if you put it on Hall of Fame, oh, my, that's going to be that's gonna be pretty lethal, guys. Taking a look here, he's got decent speed. He's got, well, great speed. Great speed with ball. He's, his defense, defense is pretty decent as well. Rebounding is fine. Uh, and then take a look at the badges here, guys. I mean, he's a 98 Galaxy Opal. I mean, <sighs> Guys, this is going to be very hard to compete with now that cards are coming out. I mean, it's probably not going to be too long until we see a point guard Giannis, a point guard LeBron, a point guard Ben Simmons that can shoot. I mean, really, there's... But look, I mean, if you can't afford this card, Darius Miles will do the job for you guys. Uh, but overall, this card is going to be good. And then he is going to have the exact same tendencies. I'm sorry, the signature animations as the uh, other Kevin Durant guys. But with that being said, this card is just literally going to be one of the best in the game uh with that being said moving on to my guy chris weber now chris weber uh did have a galaxy opal a while ago i haven't seen too much of this guy but he is playing at the point guard position slash small forward he is six and nine guys i mean is he better than magic johnson that's the real thing that's the real issue that you're gonna have to now 
A lot of people say his release is cash. If if his release is cash, obviously I prefer him over Magic, but Chris Webber with a great speed, great acceleration, great vertical, great strength, great interior, great perimeter. Uh, I mean, literally, what does this card, like this card literally is almost perfect down the line in terms of stats. His ball handle you wish was a little bit higher, but at the same time, man, like this card's going to bring you a crap ton of stuff. Three point shot is nice. Coming off that quick stop, he's going to be monstrous. I will be trying to pick up one of these cards, guys. Currently, I only have like 90K to my name, but uh, that's not going to stop me from getting you guys some gameplay with these cards. I just can't wait to do it. Although he does have some good defensive badges. Uh, again, I think he's going to be eaten alive by uh, Will Chamberlain and Kareem's of the world because that post move lockdown is only on gold, guys. I'm trying to think about who can stop these cards, guys. And obviously, the cards that I mentioned, it, he does have that gold steady, which you hate to see on current gen. Uh, next gen is probably going to be a little better. Same time, though. I mean, <sighs> taking a look at him here. He's a really good card. Do not get me wrong, guys. I'm just trying to think of cards that can like compete with him. Obviously, that Magic Johnson, Will Chamberlain, Kareem, Pau Gasol. Um, you know, maybe not a... I was going to say Yao Ming, but he's too tall, he's too slow. Uh, you know, just kind of guys like that. Heck, maybe even a Mark Eaton can compete with this guy. Um, I mean, if you're coming with a Mark Eaton uh, versus... Chris Webber, I mean, that's going to be a little hard since Mark Eaton is really good at defense, although Chris Webber is going to be cash. You can literally make him your point guard. It's going to be absolutely crazy, guys. And then taking a look at these signature animations, I mean, uh, let's look. All right, so he's got Kemba Walker and Rudy Gay upper. I mean, obviously, it's the same thing as the other one, but or it might be, not too sure. But, uh, I mean, take a look at his dribbling moves here. The guy is going to be good. The guy is going to be really, really good. Um, so if you're a big Chris Webber fan, I would you could go for him. Although Magic Johnson, if you already have him, does the exact same thing as him. Ben Simmons does the exact same thing as him. There's nothing really that stands out to me uh, with this Chris Webber card. Although that he is Chris Webber and he can play the point guard. Grant Hill, yo. Point guard slash power forward. You can play him at that four spot, guys. 42 Hall of Fame badges. Dark Matter, 99 overall. For Grant Hill. Now, the, he's almost a dang near perfect card. I mean, well, he almost, yeah, he literally almost is a perfect card. All you would probably need is, uh, I mean, you could apply deep hooks to him. I mean, uh, he doesn't come with steady shooter. So, guys, current gen, this card's going to be absolutely disgustingly nasty, man. He's going to be shooting lights out on pretty much everybody with that 95 speed with ball. He can't play the power forward, although I'd probably play him at that point guard position, guys. He's 6'8. I honestly think this card is better than Magic Johnson, to be honest with you. If he can curry slide, that's going to be very, very good. Coming in with a 98 speed. Uh, and the, the thing, the, the, why, the reason why I say he's better than Magic, he might even be better than Luka, but I won't go as far as to say that. He might be better than my guy, uh, Magic Johnson. And the reason why is, is because, number one, Magic Johnson base is absolutely crazy. It's disgusting. And then, Magic Johnson can't run. Like, what is that? What is up with that, 2K? Fix your game, all right? But with that being said, Grand Hill is looking very solid. Almost a dang near perfect card. The only thing that I can see flawing with, like having flaws with him, are his standing dunk, maybe his post hook. But who really needs that? Who is actually playing with a standing dunk and post hook? I have no idea. But man, he comes with some crazy good badges here. Take a look, guys, one more time. I mean, this guy is going to be absolutely disgustingly nasty. Look at these signature and animations. So guys, I believe he can curry slide, if I'm not mistaken. I have no idea what curry slide is, but he does have that jump shot one and release three, so I'm not even too sure, but his release timing is very quick. You would love to see very quick. I'm telling you, it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad, guys. Okay, and then taking a look at the last card here, the, the moment we've all been waiting for. Dark Matter, 99 overall out of position, Kobe Bean Bryant. He is 6'6 with a 6'11 wingspan. Do I advise you to play him at the four spot? Absolutely not. Do not play him at that four spot. He's only 6'6. With that being said, play him at your point guard position. He's got 41 off with Hall of Fame badges. Yikes. I mean, uh, I think Grant Hill is objectively better, guys. I mean, he has a better post hook, better standing dunk. Uh, I mean, uh, badges wise, they're very similar. What does this car do that Grant Hill doesn't? I'm just saying, like, Taking a look right here back. Go, let's go to Grant Hill real quick. Both are 99. I mean, Grant Hill has a better speed, better speed with ball. I believe so. Uh, I mean, both of them are bringing you badges. He even has more badges. Now, play Grant Hill. He's taller, better wingspan. I mean, I like Grant Hill a little bit more than this Kobe card. 
at the same time man like kobe is going to bring you a lot to the table so if you are a kobe fan by all means go pick him up you're not like i believe grant hill's better the same time though you're getting a lot a lot to go here i mean he he's okay yeah do not play him at that power forward guys do not he does not even have post move lockdown which is a big big flaw to this card so if you come up against a Wilt Chamberlain, a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, you get a mismatch on a power forward that has Hall of Fame drop stepper, you are going to be destroyed with this Kobe card. I'm just being honest with you guys. But uh, yeah, I mean, overall, this card is very good. Uh, play him at that point guard position. He is going to be a knocking down shots left and right. But guys, that is going to wrap up the video. These are the out of position players. I will do my best to pick up some of these uh, for you guys. Um, I'll, instead of the pack openings guys what i'll be doing is buying some uh mt for you guys so that way i can get my cards instead of just get trying to get luck by buying them in packs so with that being said guys that is going to wrap up the video thank you guys for watching please make sure to hit that subscribe button make sure to like the video and make sure to comment anything down below in terms of which card are you going to get and i will see you guys in the next one